Union Cabinet approves an ordinance to set up the country's first national sports university in Manipur today. Chief Minister Biren warns of stern actions against police officers for influx of illegal immigrants in the state via Mori, Jiriba, Mao and Beihiang. CSOs in Mori appoint holding people's day is futile if actions are not to be taken on time. And low talk downstream affected people's welfare association contains state government for not signing power purchase agreement yet. Hello and welcome to Impact News, the watching primetime English news. I'm Kangusam Shalira with the top stories and latest news at this hour. The Union Cabinet has approved an ordinance to set up the country's first national sports university in Manipur during a cabinet meeting chaired by Prime Minister Narendra Modi today. Briefing media person on the decision of the cabinet, Law Minister Ravi Sankar Prasad said a bill to set up the university in Imphal to West is already pending in Parliament. He said things will start moving fast once the president signs the ordinance. He said the Manipur government has already allocated land for the proposed university. The ordinance will be on the lines of the bill introduced in Lok Sabha in August 2017. As of now, there are some institutes which offer various courses for athletes and coaches. The bill stated that a void exists in the sports university of the country in various areas such as sports science, sports technology, high performance training the proposed university is expected to bridge this cave the proposal to set up the national sports university in manipur was initially announced by prime minister narendra modi while rupees 1 billion fund for it were allocated in the 2014-15 budget Chief Minister Nongtambam Biren has asserted that legal actions will be taken against police officers posted at police station concerned at wake of apprehending any illegal immigrants without proper identification coming into the state via Mori, Jiribam, Mao and Beihiang. The Chief Minister was speaking to media person on the sidelines of Miam Ginumit held at Chief Minister's bungalow today. Speaking further, Biren mentioned that the DZ has been instructed to establish checkpoints at Mori, Jiribam, Mao and Beihiang to curb influx of illegal immigrants. He assured that gates will be set up and checking for illegal immigrants at these checkpoints will start soon. On the other hand, responding to complaints submitted by people accusing the government department officials of negligence, the chief minister expressed that government officials are now slowly getting adapted to the new system of governance in the state. He mentioned that when some of the complaints were assessed, majority of them were found to be under process. Biren assured that even though some of the officers may be guilty of the allegations, the monitoring cell is keeping a strict result on the conduct of these officials. 780 complaints were received from 2,500 people who attended the day. It may be mentioned that Miam Ginumit, which is held on 15th of every month, was held today as Go to Village Mission Game coincided with Miam Ginumit on May 15. Sukumba illegal immigrants pushla na bo hona bata ai ki iram dam ki isle na usin na imai saasin na saru ya khala agadi the future of the state the future of our indigenous community yam na masi yam na kano the labor training ay wave mau the ki kai ka kana ko mana changal ama ka samay da faro ai se changal ko bo illegal ni ko hai jo se ai man niyong ni matu na lapu dudi India manu ni India ki situation na lapu dar na du ki problem se changal ko na maram saadan la amta bata ro. Semai the Faraba, police and Lalhan Labour Police Sessions in Dugi, officers in Dugi, Madame Mutabi Action Logan. Hatta another Bugi, Pahai Hybidi, Lai Aduga, Akhoigi, a system Amoka, same office, the Queen of Togzerise, Prasana, Togrugos, or Queen of Dum Togze, Adukai or Reket or Reket, a noble Ibe government, Sigi, policy, meet the people's grassroots talk without Togodabani, people to people can take like the highway at the presence of the Lapa or Ampazana. Common servant or 
public servant right from the CM on the other hand, President of All More Auto Owners and Drivers Welfare Association, J. Kong Sai, has stated that organizing Miam Kinumit holds no meaning if the government fails to address the complaints submitted by the people on time. Speaking to media person at All Community Development Organization Mori Office in relation to Miam Ginumin, J. Kong Sai mentioned that despite various civil society organizations urging the government authorities, including SDPO Mori, SDC Mori, DSP Mori, OC Mori Police Station, and OC Commando Mori regarding the lack of adequate medical facilities in Mori, no positive actions are taken by the government till date. He appealed to relevant authorities to give more credit to this day by addressing the complaints submitted by the people and executing them into actions without any further delay. Self-Divisional Police Officer Mori Mohurle Sandeep Kopaldas and SDC Mori Romeo, including representatives of many organizations, attended the event. <laughs> Sahi ma hin kare kari ka na ba pangge kino pol district ki oina actualis specialis moreda me am numit pangkor ga kaiso ka na ba lai ti hai ba koi auto owner assistant driver ki office de gi ngasi pangkhu ning ba si only practical lai te only theory ngak tane adoi di sarkar na masi si yaradi tok piyo nadradi thabak oina pai khat piro me am na public me am na complaint to bo me am si Sarkarna Yingshin Bidina Atubu Maramda Exxon in a Tokat Piro Nadra D. Mayam Numitsi Tokok Piro Lok Tok Develop Sorry, Lok Tok Downstream Affected People's Welfare Association has accused the state government for delaying the comments of the Menglong Lok Tok Downstream Project, a development and project exclusively sanctioned by the central government for the people of Noni and the Menglong district by not signing the power purchase agreement yet. The association has called for a burn starting from 5 a.m. of May 28 to 5 p.m. of May 29 in Noni and the Menglong district against the indifference of the state government. The association has also urged to hold all national and international projects in the district during the burn. Addressing media person at Ching Mei Rang today, General Secretary of the Association, Simon Kamai, said the Loktok downstream project is a joint development project for the people of Noni, the Menglong, and the state as a whole. However, the state government has not started the project with an estimated budget of 1,398.09 crore rupees, which is already sanctioned by the central government. He alleged that the indifference of the state government shows that it is concerned in bringing development only in the valley areas and not in the hills. He urged to the power department to sign the power purchase agreement with the National Hydroelectric, Hydroelectric Power Company, NHPC, at the earliest. The General Secretary of the Association also said foundation stone for the Loktok downstream project was already laid in Tamenglong by Union Power Minister Shushil Sindhi under the initiative of the then Prime Minister of India, Atal Bihari Basbai, in 2006. He urged to the government to start the project, which is a joint venture of National Hydroelectric Power Company, NHPC, and the government of Manipur as soon as possible. Central government has already sanctioned the package to carry out to take out this Lokta downstream project many two three decades ago. But still, then government of Manipur is not taking interest. That means the lesson which is being carried out by the present government under Chief Minister and Power Minister go to the hills, go to the village. Haibaki meaning si Go to the hills, go to the village. Haibaki meaning di. Development to be or have near Manipur State Government na power purchase agreement na have to be the busy carry region labor while the peoples are dying. As part of the nationwide movement by Coordination Committee Left Parties, Mass Front, various trade union workers' union and employees' union in the state held a public meeting at GM Hall today, criticizing the BJP led NDA government at the center of protecting the interest of huge cooperate private companies rather than the interest of the common people. The meeting also emphasized on how lives have become stagnant in four years that the government came into power. Protesters at the meet 
mentioned that the present government promised to bring change and progress, however, in contradiction, works only in favor of the wealthy private companies. They alleged that the present government had only accomplished in making the rich richer and the poor poorer, inciting suicidal tendencies among many small-scale farmers who are under huge debt. They further criticized the Prime Minister Narendra Modi-led government of enacting laws against the interest of the people and of widening the existing gap between different communities residing in the state. When I Aranba Prajagi Mayokta Leiba Economic Policy Asiki Mayokta Pratibad Tauba Hujeriba Kwegisu Palon Amani Prajamia Masi Namtak Tauna Tauna Sahimari Purpasi Prajadi Kanja Dabana Ayam Kodamani and we Ujik Sahimari Simunda Narendra Modi in a Sarkar Paidri Edegi Election Campaign Degi Wasakiba Sarkar Pairagaman Lautoki program Yamasi, Karibu Toro Gavisiko Hangin, Corporate Houses in the Interesta, Ma Black Money Panabas, one of the regular in Tokarbani, and when I hired them by Yam to Karigi Togabagana Hangbada, Amta Kumdrabani, Nan Nan Chakraga, and now a no bus slogan, Madagi Monkey Bar, Tamuigi, Wana Sasun Tony, and Adum the Nang Lady Baneva. Deputy Chief Minister Yumnam Joy Kumar has already inaugurated a 5 kilowatt grid connected group solar power plant at Uripok Achom Lekai in Uripok Assembly Constituency as part of his mission to provide electricity in Uripok Constituency generated from solar power plants. The grid connected group solar power plant installed at Basketball Ground Com Community Hall of Youth Club Uripok Achom Lekai intends to provide electricity in the area. Speaking on the occasion, the Deputy Chief Minister highlighted his vision of providing electricity generated by solar power plants in collaboration with Money Rida in the entire Uripo constituency. He said two solar power plants were also already installed at two different places in Uripo constituency and efforts are on to cover more than 30 community and centers in the constituency to light off each and every nook and corner of the constituency. On the other hand, Yumnam Joy Kumar appealed to the people not to politicize his endeavor. He assured that Installing of solar power plants in the constituency is not for wooing voters. The deputy chief minister urged for people's cooperation in such development networks. Community hall could be high solar group solar power plants in the internet or the Kai do you approve the name since yet? May not end up by now. I do want to say, Penny. The Kaiba from already Mahu could trauma put out of the way identified to the money. Sigmunda tried to remedy already agreement that carries a sign. The novel with the in the process of which gets my own a power plant, especially launch on the beginning of the question. Lampa Tori, Aduki Matata, Garang Bogota, Taru Kamaga, already my Chi Sang with her, but the Super Cape, I give you the lady. Aduna Tri Panamedi, or you object Tri Panamedi, Tri Panamedi, or Mamadi already Lore, Aduga and Yamatuna. Within this week, the and come to Madi Gumba Maha Gumba Ahmed Shu Swaidun Roy Gini Hane Kali. Fire broke out at a resident in Kumbi constituency of Bisnupu district killing one person last night. The incident occurred around 9.20 p.m. at Nauda Kong Awang Lekai in Kumbi constituency. The deceased is identified as Wan Amom Kulababu, 65 years, son of Let A. Amutoy. He was alone in the house when the incident occurred as other family members went to attend a musical concert in the locality. People in the area, personnel of Kumbi police station, including its OC and fire brigade Moirang, tried to put off the fire, but the damage was already done. Exact cause for the fire is not known yet, but sources said it is suspected to be from a short circuit. The body is deposited at Grims Morgue. National Health Mission Manipur held a one-day training program against cigarette smoking and use of other tobacco products today. The training program discussing on cigarettes and other tobacco products, Ek Koppa, 2003 was held at Hotel Sangai in Nagamapal. State Nodal Officer, National Tobacco Control Program, Dr. Somorzit Ningombam told Impact News that the training program was held as the first step in curving the raising 
Minas of tobacco uses in the state and especially to prevent smoking in public places. He blamed the rising tobacco consumption in the state despite existence of the egg due to the non-enforcement of the egg. Assures Assuring of efforts to enforce the act by 2018-19, Dr. Somorzit asserted that once the act is enforced, legal action will be taken against those using tobacco products in public places. State Nodal Officer, Training Program, National Tobacco Control Program, Dr. Ashish Pandey and representatives of various NGOs working to eradicate of tobacco products and its use in the state attended the event. Section 4 na hai any public place that thapu ya deva. Public place hai badi mi kuntra hai nitin no mafam na traga soro ki pavement, bus stop, auto, public transport, and the public office. Si mi amzi da ambu thapu ya deva. Ya drazu, ya de hai hai na akwe na enforce tog da vani na. Mi jing jidam ya mane na dum kandini da vada. Hozi akwe na enforce tog ra di. Si ki first step ni akwe na training tog isi. Mi amzi da enforcement squad jida training pire kanda akwe na Kamain tu mana enforce tu kita kira sih. Aduh, mata angkut tu, mana aduh kah hujik sih. Enforce tu, mana benda mana koi calan number hau gre, ada signage number hau gre. Madu mian tu, nama kita tiada ni. Ada di public so aware aware ni cerita pun sih, mafam sih cerita pun ada dia. Aida di find dani aje. Aduh, kah ngamat tu, mana koi calan ini hau rani. All Manipur Students Union MSU Visnupur District Committee in a press release stated that the committee will organize the 29th Student Protection Rights Program at Moirang Multipurpose Higher Secondary School on May 28. United Mongoloid, an organization established with an aim to bring together all Mongoloid communities and jointly pays for development, observe its 14th Foundation Day at Lamyan Basanglen in Palace Compound today. Speaking on the occasion, CAF and PD Minister Karam Shyam called on the leaders of various organizations in both the hills and the valley to work for bringing peace and harmony among different communities living in the state. The Eastern Education Club in a press release strongly condemned the incident of May 20 where one Mwerangtem Ibomcha from Soibam Lekai who was repairing the shrine at Kurai Ahongpong was severely assaulted by members of Delhi community. The club also urged to the Cyber Crime Department to track the viral videos uploaded by members of the community which has the potential provoking a communal riots in the state. The club further warned of intense hesitation if the government fails to provide proper fencing of the concern shrine at the earliest. It's time for a small commercial break. After the break, we bring you an exclusive report on large-scale watermelon cultivation in Kakchin Kuno Lamkai. Keep watching Impact News. Welcome back. After the break, you're watching Primetime English News. People of Kakchin Kuno have successfully cultivated and produced watermelon at a large scale on paddy fields post-harvest and enhanced their income. Impact News reporter Bakta Taurangbomb and camera person P. Bobo bring you an exclusive report in this regard. Kakchin Kuno Lamkai in Sugnu constituency is developing into a watermelon hub of the state. Farmers in the area are earning around 1 lakh to 1.5 lakh rupees annually by cultivating vegetables like watermelon, pumpkin, gourd and cucumber in their paddy fields post-harvest. A vegetable vendor at the newly constructed market shed, Ketrameyu Memtoy said she was a mere housewife who got inspired by the farmers in her area who have managed to increase their income manifolds by cultivating watermelon and other vegetables in their paddy fields post-harvest. Memtoy said she started doing the same along with her husband and now they can earn around 2,000 rupees to 3,000 rupees on a good day by selling their produce. However, Memtoy also mentioned that there are plights associated with carrying out such activities without any help from the relevant department. She said lack of proper cold storage for the surplus produce and a permanent market shed are some of the inconveniences facing them. Aham pada di yogyakarta di tempat itu, ayat nak kau nanti lah itu aku ini aham pada terbus tarik mesin dia kantau pada di dukaan je, sum paham nak kau dia aku ini sehida paham dia dia aku ini email dia suku nugi aku ini ranjit nanti tahu raga semai nak aku ini kantau pada mayam sih di dukaan sabam mayam sih di sembi tu kopi nanti tahu raga mana tahu raga cerita we. Hana aku ini tahu sih mana mata mata mangga free dalam uzu, dum kain ta buat saya tarik dia harus jadi tarik, dia yang kita kerana dum sahih dia aku ini sentuh lambi dia lagi dia hai tarik aku, sum sahih kau dia kau nampak aku harus jadi kerana kau memang hai tarik. 
Joint Secretary of Lamkhai Bazaar Committee, Kumukcham Meghachandra, stated that inhabitants of Kakchinkuno are a group of hard-working people. He said, some people in the locality utilize the paddy fields post-harvest to cultivate watermelon. Following their footsteps, many other farmers in the area also started cultivating other seasonal fruits and vegetables to enhance their income. Meghachandra stated that the present temporary market shed at Lamkhai accommodating over 100 farmers was constructed in consultation with the local MLA to redress their urgent need for a market. Stating that increase in agricultural produce require a permanent market shed to sell and store the surplus produce, the Joint Secretary appeals to the government to facilitate the farmers by constructing a permanent market shed at the earliest. Baza committee na kanjar isi akoi gome angi sai tagi akoi market chong mama saraga akoi adung lo se milu anzi da oh mama kaksing hek makha da akoi si oh nom pono nomi hona riba lam nam mama niya adar bu sa basi da akoi sahiya mada akoi si gi pami bade benda set aman da rupal la am amogi matak da akoi adung yoli adung kum si si nong sing fium zu padi faraga hia da su sin gitana ma angu su yawi at lai riba tar bu ski fium zi sai gudeng i fagat na ba akoi tar bu festi ben bang tau si rai na hujik si Aku kami tini am kena kenari. Kau buh hon honar di ising bu layar ba ising bu pak para gadi kasing hon orang natoba jaga jaga dah tu mtar bu staf tu mai pak pak cukup manipur tu semilol di oh mau perkeni hai. Do kacching kuno lamkai is a convenient spot for marketing lack of cold storage facility to store the surplus vegetables. Lack of help from experts in the relevant departments and plights brought on by inundation during rainy season due to the lack of proper drainage system are some of the concerns disheartening the farmers and the vendors in the area. This is Joy Shusham for camera person P. Bobo and reporter Bhakta Tarambam for Impact News. Local club and Mayrabai B members these are seated at Singzame Wama Khetri Lekai against the repeated demolition of the wedding shed at Singzame Tongkong and appeal to the state government to construct a new one without further delay. Speaking to Impact News President of Southeast Youth Organization Khetri Lekai, KSH Rajendro stated that the wedding shed demolished by the Water Resource Department is not included in the encroacher list issued by the DC in Fault East. During harsh weather conditions, he mentioned that after its first demolition, a new shed was reconstructed on the same site with the support of the local club and Mera Paibi members under the sponsorship of Ujekon Nongchuk Jila Parisat member. He lamented that the newly constructed wedding shed was yet again demolished using a JCB under the supervision of Singzame police personnel on May 21. He said for more than 40 years, people have utilized the waiting shed near Singzamai Bridge. He questioned the government as to why the, as to why the waiting shed, which was not listed in the encroachers list, was repeatedly destroyed. School salam dai dangang mayam nung ju marakta nung sa marakta bus ban ngai dana adi nupi angang mayam amal lamben chathuk chasing gida magta ngang ngak potha java. Adegi kerajaan gigi security gigi sahaja gigi susu security duty tu jadi maya mugi potha bawa mori ba. Yang nama tengai pada pada kerajaan woi badu mau waiting share nama tu, kaki mau nasi woi badu gigi high kedra. Turun kong nung tu sulai ban nata ba. Sari ba thong si gigi per view manung da. Ring wan si gigi matak ta road ke sahaja lay ba tu umba. Yang nama kerajaan woi ba so waiting share si masih dok biram me. Ada yari kedi asyik umba. Kudung cahaya pasi ngan sih. Kok pin nana pun kita kerajaan kita rata gigi yang nama tu na. Hari pas share si mak. Asyik gigi hena pasi nasi amuk hena sabiu. 12 Battalion National Disaster Response Force NDRF organized a disaster awareness program and school safety program at Nikthong Kong Higher Secondary School in Bisnupur District today. SDM Bisnupur IAS Lalita School Principal, school staff and around 400 students attended the awareness program. Sub-Inspector Nikhil Malik briefed the students on various disasters and how to save lives during any disaster or emergency situation on the occasion. Manipur Commission for Protection of Child Rights 
MCPCR organized a one-day district-level workshop on GZA Egg and Boxo Egg 2012 at Umang Laikol, Hairok Part 1 in Tawal District today. Education, Labor and Employment Minister T. Hisradisham, along with many experts, attended the workshop and spoke at length on the issue. Speaking on the occasion, T. Hisradisham said, Despite many programs and workshops held in the state, many people are still unaware of their rights. He urged the people to apply the knowledge gained from these workshops in their lives to prevent any untoward incident in the state. Students of schools in the district, members of CWC Tawal, JZ Bo Tawal and SB Tawal were among those present at the program. I am Patamdakwe Legal Awareness Games, Discussion, Workshop, Seminar. Tawal 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 Awareness is people we are aware. Aware the agency is not. Of course, officer we are not aware. It is a S E C C. We are not aware. 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 One day district level workshop as part of Gram Swara's Abhiyan Mission in Dredenus was held at Primary Health Center in Mori today. The workshop was organized under the supervision of District Immunization Officer Technopol Dr. K.H. Gozend as part of the nationwide campaign to provide 100 immunization to children below two years from six deadly diseases in every district of the country by this December. Surveillance Medical Officer of World Health Organization Dr. Pranoy Datta spoke as resource person in the workshop. Doctors and health workers from various hospitals, private health centers and primary health sub in in Technopol District and program managers of Technopol District attended the workshop. Gram Soraz Abhiyan, MI Haiba, Koigi, Adugi Bakada, Angang Singbu, Tok, the Singani, Tripan Pavogi Manunda, Angang Dingmak, Sada, Samada, Sama, Hida Pitapa, Adugumbagi program, Mamani, Masia Koigi, Government of India, Yam Sauba, Hell Mission Amani, Aduna. Masih aku ini pakong teriba meeting si maru ini, jadi kita hari bawa angang sini sama sama kita tato pa aduga. Yang amna sikan berlain lah taru angang sini nak mengat tak usah sedih ngat tu nak bawa aduga mupan dalam tato sebab. Life Savers Manipur and Arapti Mayai Development Association Arapti in collaboration with State Blood Cell NHM and Department of Transfusion Medicine Dreams Lumfeld organized the 55th Voluntary Blood Donation Camp and Campaign 2018. The blood donation came to was organized with an aim to make blood available in the times of emergency. Around 53 people donated blood at the camp. The movement initiated by Joint Administrative Council of All Manipur Trade Unions Council, AMTUK, and All Manipur Government Employees Organization, MGO, demanding implementation of the 7th Central Bay Commission in the state has entered the 63rd day today. Staff of the Infot East Treasury Office, Porom Pot, held a one-day cease work strike and stays a sit-in in a holding play cards dead rate. We demand 7P, treat state and central government employees equally in terms of 7P. 7P is a right, etc. Speaking to media person, staff of the Infot East Treasury Office, R.S. Gaidon criticized the state government for the non-implementation of the 7th Central Bay Commission in the state when the same has been enforced in other neighboring states of Manipur. He asserted that oil government employees in collaboration with the GAC will continue their practice until their demand is fulfilled. <laughs> Pamham to the lines at Nari. A quick pamham over Yabado, quite the PB or Hena Sarka, the quay, Tanto Zaribani. A hozi, Portman Manhaga, Suk Tangre, a coin of Pussy Liba, the Lop Mamse, family minister of the Suk Matiki Wagre. I do not quick pamham hakto. Sagana Nisi, a quay, a numid sixty three days. She chataraga. Kaim the Sunazum be done a lab, say a quayamna, Tamoy noiti. 
A joint team of SDPO Porampat, MPS Sankarjit, Loitongbom, OC Narcotic Cell, KH Dev Kumar, including SI of another narcotic cell, M. Savir, along with NAB Manipur, under the supervision of the additional SP operation, Infalt East, MPS M. Kumarjit, apprehended one drug dealer, along with incriminating items at Janim's Crossing Area, Porampat, while on patrolling duty around 11.15 today. The arrested drug peddler is identified as one Muhammad Feroz Khan, 35 years son of Muhammad Arfal from Kavishoy 7th MR in Fault East. 284 SP loosened capsules, estimated to be worth around 9,000 rupees, were seized from him. The arrested individual was handed over to Porompot Police Station for further verification. Preparations are ready for the semi-final matches of AITA Super Series under 12 boys singles national ranking tennis tournament. In the first quarter-final match played today at the court turf of Infall District Tennis Association in Lumfeld Park, Hars Fogart defeated Durba Sasideva 6-0-6-0 in the first quarter-final match, while Anirudh Nala Pajrazu beat Venkat Rishi 6-3-7-5 in the second quarter-final match. In the third quarter-final match, Manam Nath beat TH Nearest 6-4, 6-2, while in the fourth quarter final match, Ashwazit Senzam beat Gandavelt 7-6, 7-5, 6-7, 6-1. The under 12th girls singles of the tournament, Durgansu will face Priyanka Rana in the first quarter final match, Sohini Sans and Divya Ungris in the second quarter final match, Ikaraju Kamurumi and Saniksha Davast in the third quarter final match and Lakshmi Prana will play against Ridhi Poka in the fourth quarter final match. Altogether 54 boys including 30 sorry altogether 54 players including 30 boys and 24 girls are participating in the tennis tournament organized by Infall District Tennis Association under the aegis of Manipur Tennis Association. Subsequent matches of the tournament will be played tomorrow. Before we end, let's take a look at the headlines once again. Union Cabinet approves an ordinance to set up the country's first national sports university in Manipur today. Jim Minister Biren warns of stern actions against police officers for influx of illegal immigrants in the state via Mori, Jiriba, Mao and Behiang. CSOs in Moray appoint holding people's day is futile if actions are not to be taken on time. And locked up downstream affected people's welfare association condemns state government for not signing power purchase agreement yet. 